Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be reviewing and then giving away the Battle Ruler theme deck. This is a fighting and grass type theme deck from the Fates Collide set. And then next month, I'll be reviewing the other theme deck that features Lugia from this set as well. So this theme deck is based around Zygarde, which is a new Pokemon to the TCG. And what's going to happen is about 90% of this video is going to be a review on this deck. And then the last part of this video, I'll lay out the rules to entry for this giveaway. So again, fighting and grass type theme deck. I can show you the back of the box. And here is a card list here. And then what you'll find on the inside. And then I'll read the summary of the theme deck. It says, Order from Chaos. Rule the battle with the legendary Pokemon of Order and Control, Zygarde. With Lucario's Fists of Justice and Superior's Crushing Coils, you'll bring order to chaos and seize the moment with the Battle Ruler theme deck. On to victory. So there you go. And I've already opened this up just so I can have all the cards be in order. 60 cards per deck. Here are the items that are on the inside. Here are the damage counters, burn marker, and poison marker. Then here is a checklist for Fates Collide. Play mat. I really like the almost 3D play mats from some of the premium collection boxes. Here is a deck box with the 59 cards in plus the Zygarde in the preview window. Here is the coin that comes with it that looks like a Zygarde. There's an online TCG code card. Of course, the winner of this theme deck will get that code card. And then here is the special hollow foil of Zygarde. So I'll go through each and every one of these cards. I do review all the newest cards on my blog every single day. But really, it's best to really play with certain decks that you create just to see how it does against other decks out there. A good place to do that would be the online TCG. So, I'll go through the Pokemon first, and starting off with two of Zygarde. So, including that one that I just showed, which had the Holofoil pattern to it, Zygarde. Basic fighting type Pokemon, 120 HP, so a good HP. Two moves, Rumble and Geo Strike. Rumble does 30 damage for two energy cards, and it says the defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. And then Geo Strike does 120 damage for three energy cards, and it says this attack does 10 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. So 120 damage to the defending Pokemon is pretty good. However, unless you have a card or any way to utilize damage on your own Pokemon, Geo Strike can be a little bit risky, especially later on in games with some of your bench Pokemon having damage on them already. But if you have a Pokemon in play that has an ability that can reduce damage on all of your Pokemon by let's say 10 or 20, Geo Strike would be a very good move. But this is more of a card you want to set up on the bench and use at an, an opportune time so Geo Strike does less damage to your own Pokemon. So next Pokemon here is Larvitar. So there is a 2-2 two -two line of Larvitar and Pupitar. No Tyranitar in this theme deck, so you could always add Tyranitar. It is a hollow from the Fates Collide set. So Larvitar, a little lower HP for a basic, 50 HP. It does have two moves. Mountain Munch says to discard the top card of your opponent's deck, and then Corkscrew Punch does 20 damage for two colorless energy cards. So if you use double colorless energy in your deck, Corkscrew Punch could do 20 damage for one move, which would be a, a pretty good move. But overall, this is a little bit slower of card, just like Zygarde is, and it has a lower HP. So not really a fan of either of the first two Pokemon. Zygarde does some power, so I, I don't hate that card by any means, but Larvitar is definitely an underwhelming basic Pokemon. So Pupitar, lower HP again, but it does have a low retreat cost. Only one move called Thrash. It says flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 20 more damage. If tails, this Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. So just looking at Larvitar and Pupitar, this would probably be the first place I take out some cards in this deck and put in different cards. Or I could get rid of some other cards in this deck and put Tyranitar in this deck. 
And of course, any deck that you build, as long as it's in a range of certain sets, right now it's X, Y, and newer, you can mix and match sets and whatnot, not a problem. So next up here, there's a 2-1 line of Riolu and Lucario. So Riolu, good HP with 60, and it does 30 damage for one fighting type energy guard. However, you must flip a coin when using this move, and if you get a Tails, the move does nothing. So you might want to attach a Trick Coin Trainer that gives you an opportunity to reflip the coin if you do get a Tails the first turn. It gives you a better shot at doing 30 damage. So, can do major damage with this basic Pokemon. Again, I still haven't seen a great starter type Pokemon in this deck. Then Lucario, there's actually two different Lucario cards from the Fates Collide set, so you could put the Metal type one in this deck if you'd like. So one Lucario, 110 HP, so a good HP, two moves, Beat Down and Magnum Kick. Both do just straight damage for a certain amount of energy cards, so this is a solid card overall, one that I would definitely use. And you can always look at different real loot cards as well. If you want one that can for sure do 10 damage per turn for one energy card, I'm sure there's newer real loot cards and a little bit older sets than Fates Collide that you could use. So now there's just one Carbink card. Now there is, this is the rare version. There's also a common version of Carbink plus Carbink Break in the Fates Collide set. So Carbink 80 HP. This is the first card who have an ability that says Energy Keeper. It says basic energy attached to your basic Pokemon can't be discarded by effects of your opponent's attacks, abilities, or trainer cards. And then Stone Edge does 60 damage plus 30 more damage if you get a heads when you flip a coin for three energy cards. I like Stone Edge quite a bit. However, 80 HP is awfully low. I know there's some trainers out there that can increase the HP of a card plus have it do more damage per turn, but 80 HP is a little low for a move that requires three energy cards. So another one you probably want to go, you're going to want to set up on the bench like Zygarde before you put it in the active Pokemon spot to actually use. So Halucha is the final fighting type Pokemon in this deck. 70 HP and the first move is called backflip and it says to draw a card that just requires one colorless energy and then wicked jab does 30 damage for two energy cards one each of fighting and colorless and it says flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed so that's a pretty solid move I would say I like Halucha best of any of the Pokemon that can attack fairly quickly um, for the most part, I'm not very impressed by these fighting type cards, so definitely room for improvement there. So now we're getting on to the grass type Pokemon, and it could be a little bit better than the fighting type. So first off is a 3-2-1 line of Snivy, Servine, and Superior. Good HP on Snivy, and it does 10 damage for one energy card, so this is definitely the best starter type a Pokemon I've seen so far. And it heals 10 damage from itself when using Blot. So I really like this card. This is probably a card I'd want in the active Pokemon spot to start the game. So three of those. And then Servine, another card that has an ability, but 70 HP, a lot of low HP in this deck. So Serpentine Strangle says, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. While I like this move initially, or the ability initially, I don't like that it's really a one and done type ability where you only can really play it once. And then Vine Whip is its only move. It looked good on a basic type Pokemon, but for stage one, a little bit underwhelming. But we'll see what Superior looks like next after the two Servine. So it's Superior. A decent HP, 140 for stage 2. Coil and Slashing Strike, two moves that both require one energy card. Coil says, during your next turn, this Pokemon's attacks do 60 more damage. And then Slashing Strike, this Pokemon can't use Slashing Strike during your next turn. So if you use Coil the first turn and then Slashing Strike the next, you can do quite a bit of damage. You can do... 180 damage in two turns, so that's really 90 damage a turn for only one energy card. So that's a very powerful move. Again, it goes along with the theme of uh, the Pokemon in this deck really aren't that fast, and they're going to require some time to set up on the bench. 
Okay, so next Pokemon here is a Burmy Wormadom line. So there's a 2 2 line of Burmy and Wormadom. So I'd say the grass type starter is a little bit better here. This one does 10 damage per turn for any type energy and 60 HP and a low retreat cost. Can't go wrong there. Just a very basic average starter type Pokemon. Now, Wormadom here, stage one, good HP with 120. Two moves, Solar Ray does 20 damage for one grass energy, and it says heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon. So this card would work well with Zygarde. So if you use Zygarde's Geo Strike and ended up doing 10 damage to each of your own Pokemon, you could use Wormadom later in the game and heal all that damage done to your own Pokemon by Geo Strike. And then Leaf Cutter's the second move, three energy cards, 60 damage. Plus, if you get a heads when you use Leaf Cutter, it does 30 more damage. So another card that would benefit from a Trick Coin Trainer, just like the Riolu I talked about earlier. Next up here, there is a Deerling card, just two of these. No evolutions of Deerling. So 60 HP, it says find a friend, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterward. So you could use this as a starter type Pokemon and it'd be best to use it early in the game just because this card can't actually attack. You can get the card that you want into your hand right away, like if you want to play Servine or you need Superior so you can evolve it right away, that type of thing. Find a friend would be a good move to use, but you can always use a trainer card as opposed to actually using a Pokemon in your deck. Next up is Shuckle. Two Shuckle cards. 80 HP, so a decent HP. Two moves, both require colorless type energy cards. One and two energies. Hide a Berry allows you to draw two cards and then put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. So that works out well. It's almost a recycle type of thing. And then Wrap does 30 damage for two colorless energy cards plus it paralyzes the defending Pokemon when attacking if you get a heads when you flip a coin. So similar to Servine's ability. So I like that card quite a bit. Again, it's going to require two energy cards to actually do any damage. So now we're on to the colorless type Pokemon in this deck. Minchino and Sinchino. So a 2-2 two -two line. Only four total colorless type Pokemon cards in this deck. Minchino, 50 HP, but it does do, I like Tail Smack quite a bit, does above average damage for only one energy card. So another good starter type Pokemon for this deck. And then Sinchino has average HP for stage one. Two moves, first one, Sweeping Cure, heals 30 damage for one of your bench Pokemon, so it would help out if you do a lot of damage with Geo Strike on Zygarde. And then Knock Away for two energy cards or one double colorless energy does 30 damage plus 30 more damage if you get a heads when you flip a coin. So that is it for the actual Pokemon. And I, I think the grass type Pokemon made up for the deficiencies in the fighting type Pokemon a little bit. But th remarks about the Pokemon in this deck. It seems like a lot of them are a little bit slower to attack. So it's going to require some time to set up on your bench. A lot of them require coin flips, so you're going to want to have trick coin trainers. And then a lot of the Pokemon have lower HP. So i definitely make some changes with the Pokemon. If you're just a, a beginner, it's always good to start off with a theme deck and just work through it that way. But you could always add a few different cards. You could add a Carbink break into here. You could look at the common type Carbink from this set. You could add the other type of Lucario, the metal type. Lucario from this set. You could always add Zygarde EX in here to go with it. I know you don't need Zygarde to have Zygarde EX. But you could always add Zygarde there. You could add Tyranitar to make the stage 2 evolution of Pupitar, that type of thing. Overall, I'd probably give the Pokemon in this deck a 2 out of 5 rating if I go to the rating similar to my blog. A lot of times I, I do 2, 3, or 4 ratings for theme decks because most of the time they're pretty average but I would say this is just slightly below average uh, as far as Pokemon are concerned. Now we'll get on to the energy cards and trainer cards. So first one here is Energy Pouch. I believe this is new to the Fates Collide set and says it's actually a tool card so you attach it to one of your Pokemon. It says if this Pokemon, if the Pokemon 
this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack. Put all basic energy attached to that Pokemon into your hand. So if you had a card, if you put Tyranitar, for example, into this deck, I think that it probably has a move that ha requires three energy cards. Or if you use Lucario or Zygarde, something like that, that requires quite a few energy cards to attack. And you know it's going to get knocked out and you're not going to retreat it. I'd put this card on one of those cards and that way you'll get the energy cards back. Next up is Pokemon Fan Club. This is a pretty popular supporter card. Of course, supporter cards, you only can use one per turn. It says to search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. So that's what I was, this one's basic Pokemon, but then Deerling, you can search for any type of Pokemon. But again, I'd probably rather use this supporter than a Deerling. Potion, of course, heal 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. Important to have because you have Zygarde in this deck. Professor's Letter, there are two of these. It says to search your deck for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. That'll be important just because a lot of the Pokemon in this deck are a little bit slower on the attack. Then we have Shauna, which is a supporter. It says to shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. So it's similar to a recycle type of move that type of thing similar to what we saw on a Pokemon in this deck where you had to draw two cards and then basically put one of the cards back into your your uh, deck so two Shauna and then switch if any of these Pokemon have high retreat costs I know it seemed like a couple of them had a fairly high two colorless energy card retreat cost which isn't too high but this one just switches it for free so two of those, and then Tierno, uh, a pretty popular supporter. Two of these, it allows you to draw three cards. And then Wally is the last supporter in this deck. It says to search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterward. So as opposed to the Pokemon fan club, this one looks for a stage one or a stage two instead of a basic. So that's it for the trainers. I mean, pretty standard stuff there. I, I do like Energy Pouch quite a bit, and I'm sure that'll be in the other deck from this set when I review it. But pretty standard, 3 out of 5 rating. Nothing terrible, nothing special. Um, if you make your deck a little bit more specific strategy-wise, there's usually some stadium cards or supporters that make more sense for your deck. But for the most part, I'd say it's pretty average. So for the Energy cards... 18 total, 10 fighting, and 8 grass. And of course, like I said, I think the grass type Pokemon in the stack are a little bit better, but they also attack much quicker, so you don't need as many grass type Pokemon, grass type energy in this deck. So there you have it. That's really my review. I would say I still think this deck is more of a 2 out of 5 rating as opposed to an average 3 out of 5. Um, just I'm not that impressed by the Pokemon. There's some easy changes to make like I was talking about earlier with adding Tyranitar, adding another Lucario, maybe using a car break, break, that type of thing. But for beginners it's always great to just go with the theme decks and just go from there, see how things work, and then just make changes little by little as you play with the deck more. So it's now the time for the giveaway of this deck. And the way that you can enter to win this deck is you have to do a few things. You have to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and then comment on this video saying that you'd like to be entered for the theme deck giveaway. Pretty easy stuff. You'll find a complete rules to entry in the description of this video. As always, before you go, make sure and check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook and Twitter pages. Good luck to everyone who enters and again I will be reviewing the other deck Sky Guardian in the month of June. I also have a huge Fates Collide giveaway going on right now for three booster boxes plus ten Fates Collide booster packs. Definitely check a look at that giveaway if you have not done so already. So thanks everyone for watching again good luck and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.